What's up you guys, my name is Prentai and welcome back to another episode of Building the Ultimate Flat. I'm really excited for one of two reasons. One, I can't wait to get on with today's episode and build my shelving unit which is going to be here, which is the plan for today, that's the main plan for today's episode. But before I do that, I have something to go pick up from, a, from U, not from UPS, but from the collection point, the UPS collection point. So, we got this to the door, I'm going to go collect it just now. Oh my god, it's here! Oh, we've got it. It's not the whiteboard, but you can tell who it's from by the little stamping on it. Oh my god. Let's get this thing open. Oh, it's beautiful. Shit. How beautiful is this? G Force GTX. 1050 tie. Oh, this is really cool. Asus, you are fucking amazing. As you can see on the front, beautiful, beautiful box art. Uh, GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Expedition, built for non-stop action. This thing is a beautiful beast. Uh, four gigabyte memory as well. Dual fans, ball bearing as well. So it's longer lifespan, and they're quiet which is the main thing. Quiet is a good thing. Let's get it open. I'm not really good at unboxings and things, but you know, there we are. Beautiful, let's um, take it out. There we are. Ooh. You can open the static proof bag very, very carefully. Makes it the most careful I've been with this knife. This thing, so I can grab it by the... Oh. Beautiful. Look at it. Absolutely gorgeous card. The colour scale on it is fantastic as well. That is incredible. There we are. DVI, HDMI and DisplayPort as well. Oh, this thing is a monster. I cannot wait to get this inside my PC. I'm so excited. Yes, drivers installed. It looks really silly at the moment. It looks like how big it is, but the drivers are installing. Oh my god. I, um, I'm going to give this to Jed. The old graphics card. Jed can have this. There's no point selling it or anything because it's just uh, 560. It's either a 560 or a 650. One of the two. It's not even going to focus on it. It's that shit, but yeah. Jed can have that, stick it in his computer. I don't think he has one in his computer anyway, so. I don't have the right fucking cables and nothing's fucking working and uh, I'm gonna go PC World, buy some more cables and hopefully it works. Right, got what I need. Thanks to Justin as well for who came up with some sweet staff discount. What a fucking awesome dude. Um, so I got the DVI cable and I've got uh, a new hard drive as well. Cause my external one seems to have like fucked up. I don't know why. But it's like saying it needs reformatted, so I'm just going to reformat it and copy everything over here. And then I just bit the bullet and bought a new internal hard drive because I kind of really need one. I'm running everything off of the SSD at the moment and it's like not good. But Justin, the man, fucking hooking me up with a discount, one awesome man. You my friend, a fucking, fucking legend. Now I would use HDMI on this screen, however, for some reason the HDMI input on this isn't working and I don't know why. And I've had this for like three years or whatever. I started warranty regardless of whatever's wrong with it. So that's why I'm obviously running off DVI, not HDMI, because I'd do HDMI if I could, but I can't. But this is on HDMI, this screen. I just need to get... You know what? I just need new screens. That's what I need. I'm a freaking idiot. I didn't even need the cable. I just needed to wait till the graphics card was actually out so I can install the drivers and then both screens work with the HDMI cables like it's supposed to do. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Anyway, we're going to tackle this wall. Just now, I'm going to get it filled um, and then I'm going to sand it all and paint it ready to build the frame. Smooth, as you can see, this is a problem with sanding plaster. You get like dust 
everywhere. I do have a sheet down here to catch most of it, but it's still gone every <coughs> everywhere. And because I'm in a cupboard, it's really stuffy in there. The only thing I have to do left now that I've sanded it is paint it. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. It's not a Building the Ultimate Flat episode unless we visit b &Q. So the reason that I'm here is I need to find the paneling bit for the actual shelves. I've got the bit for the side, I just need to find the bit the shelves are actually going to sit on, the actual shelves themselves. I was hoping there's like pre-made ones that are big enough, ones that were 50 by 100, but there's not. So it means I have to do a lot of sanding and painting. Right, so these beams here are going to be the supports for the size of the shelf. So I need, for each one, each one of these will do one shelf. I need 49, 49 and 101 in length. So these are like 240 or 240 centimeters long. So I'll have enough for each one for, to be one of the shelves. So what I'm gonna do just now is mark out the lengths that I need and get them all cut. All three bits caught on the first one. Let's see if they fit. I'm hoping they do. I've not tried this yet. So this could be like a massive embarrassment on camera. Come up with a problem that I, I knew about, I just didn't think about when measuring out. Obviously, I need to like make this piece shorter because otherwise it intersects and I don't want it to intersect. I want it to be obviously flush all the way around. Uh, so this needs to be four, eight. So this needs to be eight centimeters short. So as opposed to cutting them 101, I actually have to cut them 93. Good mass, Alec. That's everything in now. Obviously, I'm going to be using this, 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 this. This is a spacer for the height. This here, and then these three here. I'm not going to use this bottom one, uh, the one that's like too long that I forgot about. I just cut an extra one um, from like a, a bit of leftover I had from building that over there. So, I now need to plan out what height I'm going to put the shelves at, as well as cut these here, because these are obviously far too big. I'll bring one in. Oop. Right, so as you can see, that box is like the shelf, where the shelf is going to be, and well, this obviously excess bit is what I need to cut, so I need to mark out on all three sides the extra bits, and then I'm going to cut them off. I also need to mark on the wall how high I want the shelves, and I think that I'm going to put this here, because this was never meant to be here, this is just here temporary, and um, I'm going to have like a, a proper unit in here and stuff, but I think I'm going to put that in the bottom of the cupboard. So if I do that, that'll come up to maybe like waist height. So like, probably I reckon like here or something and give me a bit of space and then I have like maybe one there, one there. Let me check with my spacers. That's why I've got this spacer in the first place. So that'll go like to, to there, I guess, which is like go back there and then that'll go not too high. Kind of wanna, I think I should maybe work at the start at the top. Start at the top and then work my way down, I reckon, it's probably the best practice. Figure out where I want the top shelf and then just work down from there. Why did I think it would be that easy? Why? I knew it wouldn't because this place is built shoddily by... Ugh. My problem is, right, if you go up here and I measure the gap here, it is 50 centimetres, it's like 49 and 3 quarters, basically 50 centimetres. If I drop down here, round here, right, then the gap distance there is 48 centimeters. Why is there like a two centimeter difference, or almost two centimeter difference between the top and the bottom? This means this thing is squint. Who builds squint houses? So it means I have to cut more like a centimeter off and all that. Oh. The problem isn't even just like both sides, it's only this side. It's only one. This is fine. These sit in nice and snug. Like that's why I purposely cut them like a, that tiny bit extra thicker so they would sit snug. And they don't, but I think this is the height I'm gonna go for. The distance gap in. This one's kind of the smallest one I've jammed in, but um, obviously I need to take a bit off so it can sit in. But this is the height I'm gonna go for. So I've got a shelf at the top here, which obviously doesn't have a full, like, visibility. It's just a bit of a shelf, but it means I can stick stuff up all the way up into the cove there. This shelf is like kind of between head and like chest height, like nipple height. And then we've got this one here, which is like nipple height to like below crotch height, um, which means bottles can fit in whatever one I want to go for. I need to check the distance now we, that we have between the floor and that bottom shelf. It is 
78. 78 centimeters. How tall is this thing? Please don't be any taller than 78 because I will scream. Oh my god. Oh my god, look. 77. 77 or 76 and a half. Oh, that is beautiful because that means I'm going to stick that in there now. At least that's like one less stressed thing, but everything's still really stressful. Oh. So it's pretty much done. I say pretty much done. Like all I've got left to do, as you can see, the holes are all drilled. All I've got to do is put the rod plugs in and then like screw the things onto the wall, put the flats down, screw them on, and that's it done. Now I am ending today's episode here without doing that, but I will do it for the start of next episode, mainly because I spent a lot of time in the cupboard on this episode and I don't want to spend any more time in there. However, for next episode, there is a lot of awesome things that are going to be happening. First of which is my sofa is going to arrive. I cannot wait. I still need to get rid of these, but uh, Jed said it should be like in the warehouse by the like, seventh, and I should have it hopefully by the eleventh. Which, t if today's the third for you guys, that is like eight days, eight days time. So nine for me, which I cannot wait for. And uh, also these. So these are the doors that were on the cupboard, and everyone kept saying, Alex. Put them on because you don't want to chuck them out and you don't want to store them. So you should maybe put them on and just open them. I was like, well, no, because I want to see what's in the cupboards. And I want to see my, my beautiful handiwork of the cupboards. So what I'm going to do is going to cut this out and put glass there. And it's going to be like a display case. That being said, that's pretty much going to end today's episode. What we've done is we've got a new graphics card from Asus. Again, thank you to the guys for sending me the 1080 Ti. If you want to check any of their links, they'll be in the description. We almost got the shelves and the cupboard finished, which I'm looking forward to finishing off camera. I will probably do that after work tomorrow, and then we can start recording the next episode of Vanilla Flat. The thing you got to understand is these take me a long time. Not because of the fact that of the work that goes into it, like what I show you is maybe about a fifth of the work that I actually do. Obviously, for example, the shelves, you saw me cut like one, mark out and cut one. I had to do that like another two times as well. Obviously not going to show it to drag it on because it's just repetition and also working 50 hours a week does take its toll on myself. But that being said, if you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you drop a like rating. It'd be much and greatly appreciated. And if you have any suggestions on how I can improve the series or if you want to see more, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to check any of my social media, links to them will be in the description. If you are new around as well, please make sure you click on my face to subscribe. If you want to watch the previous episode of Building It On The Flat, you can click here. And if you want to watch the playlist from the start, you can click the bottom box there. If you want to check Asus's channel out, you can click the box here. Other than that guys, so until next time, I've been the Prentai and I'll see you in the next one.